Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this sixth day of February, and it is Sunday, and today's topic is titled, I Cannot, for the Baptist Bread Devotional Booklet. And before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray that He's your Lord and Savior today. Well, if not, today is the day to trust Him and Call upon him, and he'll wash away all your sin, past, present, and future. All right, we're going to start with today's scripture song, and we're going to sing with Brother Dean and Sister Patty from Proverbs 24.10. So let me press play and get started here. Maybe. Proverbs 24.10. If thou faint in the day of adversity... Thy strength, thy strength is, is small. <clears throat> if thou the faint in the day of adversity, thy strength, thy strength is small. Thy strength is small. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Thy strength is small. Faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small, thy strength is small. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small, thy strength is small. That's right. All right, so we'll put that back to yesterday's, and we'll do those scripture songs again towards the end of the broadcast. But now it's time to get into today's topic for Sunday, February 6th, and it's titled again, I Cannot, in the passages from Genesis 19, 19, and it says, Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, uh, lest some evil take me, and I die. Genesis 19.19. And that's uh, Lot speaking. And uh, I believe he's talking to the angels there when uh, the angels tell him that he needs to get up and get moving. Amen. So uh, today's author is P.H. That would be the initials for, I believe that's Paul Heaton. Yep, and that's Paul Heaton, and he's the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Lupton, Michigan. So let me read you what he wrote on this topic of I Cannot. All right, he writes here, Every time I read this verse, I find myself saying, Lot, come on, buddy. By now, don't you know God knows best? After all, he got you out of Sodom. He is granting you your desire, and you are telling him what is going to happen? Lot was so concerned that some evil would overtake him in the mountains, and it did, that he requested for a little city. However, even there he saw the wickedness and finally fled to the mountains, and you know what came of that decision. (laughs) Yeah, we won't even discuss that. I have often wondered what might have happened if he had just gone to the mountains to start with. In Ruth 4.6, the kinsman uh, nearer than Boaz was offered the field and Ruth, and he said, I cannot redeem it. And the reason he would mar, mess up, ruin, destroy, mix in an impurity, etc., his inheritance. Uh, Look what he gave up by saying, I cannot. The next time God asks you to do something, do not be so quick to say, I cannot. I am positive that the Lord has already looked over all the possibilities, and all you will do is either delay or ruin what he wants to do in your life. Oh, yeah. Uh, Now, there's a thought to ponder. Yikes. So, (laughs) let's take heed of that. Uh, Next time... We say, I cannot, God. I can't do that. Well, surely you, surely, surely you can. And uh, God desires you to do it if it's in his will. 
Amen. So, before we're quick to say, I cannot, better make sure that uh, uh, we know that if we delay something, um, <clears throat> that uh, might not be good. So, amen. So, let's take heed to that uh, warning there. All right. So, that is the end of the Baptist bread topic. Yikes. That's a little rough there. So, let's make sure we're not saying I cannot to God. When he knows best for us. Amen. Alright, so now it's time to get into the Boots on the Ground devotional. And this is uh, from Randy Wells, Daily Devotions for the Christian Soldier. And today's topic is titled, A Friend in Need is a Friend Indeed. And this takes place on February 6, 1778. And the passage is from Proverbs 18.24. It says, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Proverbs 18.24, we know who that friend is, that's Jesus Christ, amen. Alright, so let me read you the uh, topic here, on uh, this account that takes place on February 6th, 1778. It says, as determined as Washington's Continental Army may have been, historians believe that had France not joined forces with the colonists, America may never have won her independence from Great Britain. On 6 February 1778, France and the young American nation signed the Treaty of Alliance on the condition that France gain the British West Indies upon American independence. During the Battle of Yorktown in 1781, the French naval fleet barricaded British General Cornwallis and kept reinforcements and supplies from arriving. Excuse me, this move uh, proved critical to the final defeat of the British. France came at just the right time when our f fledgling nation needed a friend. Over the course of human history, friendships and alliances have been important. To have a good friend, one who strengthens, challenges, and encourages, make a, makes a person truly rich. Amen. Sure does. We see several such friendships in the Bible, including that of David and Jonathan. Jonathan, a prince of Israel, and the supposed heir to Israel's throne, did not befriend David because of what David, David could do for him. Rather, he became David's friend when David most needed one, even going as far as to warn David against Jonathan's jealous father. <clears throat> uh, so it says, as far as to warn David against Jonathan's jealous father, King Saul. Jonathan told David, saying, Saul, my father, seeketh to kill thee. Now therefore, I pray thee, take heed to thyself unto, until the morning, and abide in the secret place, and hide thyself. First Samuel nineteen three or two, excuse me, first Samuel nineteen two. Jonathan knew that David was God's chosen king of Israel, but instead of getting jealous, he focused on encouraging and helping David on numerous occasions. And Jonathan, Saul's son, arose and went to David into the wood and strengthened his hand in God. 1 Samuel 23.16 When David finally ascended to the throne, he repaid Jonathan's friendship by caring for Jonathan's crippled son Mephibosheth. If you want to have friends, be a friend yourself, with no thought of what you can gain from it. Hmm. Yeah, another thing to take heed of. That, uh, just being a friend and not getting anything in return. Amen. When somebody needs a true friend, and as believers in Christ, we should always be friends with each other, and love each other, and encourage each other. Amen. So, praise the Lord. Alright, so that is the end of the Boots on the Ground topic. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Amen. Alright, so put that aside. And now I'll go ahead and get into today's hymn uh, to, for today. And then there's a little snippet of a story down at the bottom. Alright, so I was trying to find the best uh, um, one with the best horn section. So although was, this isn't really horns, it's kind of like the piano doing the horn thing. But... Uh, 
Uh, we have a uh, horn section at uh, Bible Baptist Church, and they do a pretty good job with the trumpets and the horn instruments uh, when we're singing this particular hymn, and it's titled, God of Our Fathers, and it says, In Him, Praise Unto God, and this was written by uh, Daniel C. Roberts, who lived from 1841 to 1907, and George W. Warren, 1828 to 1902. <clears throat> All right, so let me try to get this going here. Almighty hand lean forth in beauty of the starry band of shining worlds in splendor through the skies our grateful songs before thy throne arise. in the past in this free land by thee our lot is cast be thou our ruler guardian good and stay thy word our law thy paths our chosen way Deadly pestilence Be thy strong arm Our ever sure defense Thy true religion In our hearts increase Thy bounteous goodness Nourish us in peace Thy people on their toilsome way Lead us from night to ever-ending day Fill all our lives with love and grace divine And glory, Lord, and praise be ever thine Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. I always like that uh, hymn, especially when we do the intro there and then we get into singing it. Amen. So that is God of our fathers. And go ahead and give you the um, scriptures here on the side of each of the stanzas. So first stanza has, um, I think that's Nehemiah 9.6, and then Psalms 144.15, and then Psalms 75.1. And then the second stanza has uh, Ruth 2.12. And then the first, uh, third stanza has 1 Timothy 2.2. 2. And then the fourth stanza has 1 Timothy 1.17. And on the bottom of the page it says that this was uh, penned for a 4th of July celebration in Brandon, Vermont. This is one of many hymns uh, birthed from, or excuse me, birthed for the American Centennial of 1876. Well, amen. Pretty good there. That was God of Our Fathers. All right, and that was page uh, um, 27 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. Amen. So, all right, put that aside, and I'll go ahead and sing the Scripture songs again, and then we'll conclude it for today. Amen. All right, so we'll go ahead and do yesterday's, and then conclude with today's Scripture songs. All right, here we go. Psalms 57, 9 through 11. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations, for thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. 
I will praise thee, O God, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations, for thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Be thou exalted, O Proverbs 24, 10. If thou faint in, in the day, day of adversity, adversity thy, thy strength is small. small. If thou the faint in the day, day of adversity, thy strength is small. Thy strength is small. If thou faint in the day of adversity, Thy strength is small, thy strength is small. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small, thy strength is small. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small, thy strength is small. Amen. Okay, well, that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, as always, let me go ahead and give you tomorrow's scripture song. And tomorrow's the 7th, and we'll be singing Jonah 2, verse 7. It says, When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came in unto thee, into thine holy temple. Jonah 2, 7. So that's tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's topic for the Baptist bread is titled a minute uh, it's titled uh, where are they now and the passage is from james 1 11 so that will be tomorrow's topic for february 7th where are they now and so then that's that devotional and then the boots on the ground devotion uh, will be titled uh, death has died and this is uh, an event that takes place on february 7 1979 and the passage is from 1 Corinthians 15, 26. So that will be tomorrow's topic for the Boots on the Ground devotional. Amen. And then uh, go through the hymn book and pick out another uh, hymn to sing. So, amen. Try to find one with a, a story uh, behind it. So that's from the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Song book. And uh, so that can be found on Melody MelodyPublications.com. And then the... Scripture Songs book and CDs are available on www.dailyscripturesongs.com. That's Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website. And uh, keep them in your prayers. So they are missionaries to Guyana. And so pray for them. All right. And then all missionaries around the world, uh, keep everybody in your prayers. And um, amen. And then the Baptist Bread devotional booklets are available online at www.baptistbread.com. Or you can find them on www.timgreenministries.org along with some other books that he has available on that website. And then the Boots on the Ground book is uh, available on the internet. And this is the cover. I know it's backwards, but I wanted to show you the cover of it. And that's Boots on the Ground, Daily Devotions for the Christian Soldier, written by Randy Wells. 
Amen. And so, uh, praise the Lord for that. And also, if you'd like to uh, listen to the audiobook, uh, The Hiding Place, that I've been doing on my podcast, it's uh, um, available to listen to um, chapters 1 through 14. And I'll be doing the last chapter here probably tonight or tomorrow to get that uploaded. And so that's available on God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast, uh, The Hiding Place, The Triumphant True Story of Corey Temboom. And then after that, I'll be reading The Return to the Hiding Place, which is Hans Pillay's story and uh, his account of what took place and when he was in hiding there. So check that out. And uh, so, amen. All right, well, that'll be it for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, bye for now.